Hey, hello there guys, Broxins here, and welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Super Mystery Dungeon. So, we're already starting off here with a cutscene, and the cutscene basically is this giant, just cocoon of sorts, engulfing the entire planet in darkness. I'm assuming it's Eveltal. It's probably Eveltal, so let's see here. Uh, what, 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 what's this then? What's going on? What could it possibly be? All of a sudden, it got so dark. It's kind of spooky. What, 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 what is that? Okay, consider this a warning to all Pokemon in this world. I am Yveltal. I am the one true destroyer. I am an end to Pokemon. Destroyer. An end to Pokemon. Well, let's be perfectly honest here. Zekrom and Reshiram... Together, they could probably defeat Eveltal. Like, not gonna lie, they're they're pretty powerful legendaries. So, yeah, they 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 would probably be able to take down Eveltal. Anyways, let's see here. Allow me to demonstrate. Now I shall send all Pokemon in this world to the void. I shall snatch away the energy of all Pokemon. What? 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 No, no, no! It can't be happening. It's already too late for you to possibly escape. No matter where you are in the world. No matter how far you run. I shall hunt you down. Okay, Veltal. You're being a little bit mean here. Like, what did the world ever do to you? Probably, like, some huge backstory to this, but I just don't know it. Anyways, let's see here. I shall, okay, I shall hunt you down. And you will become nothing. Prepare yourselves for the coming of my wrath. Tremble before the great terror that I shall unleash. Feel the unending despair that I shall bring to the world. Okay, let's be honest here. You, like, what? <laughs> this situation, it's a little, like, over the top if Arceus is afraid to, like, do something. Because Arceus is powerful. Arceus could just go over there and be like, hey, I don't like this. Stop. And then, you know, Eveltal stops and nothing else happens. But since Arceus is afraid, then I don't know what's going on. It's probably a very scary situation. Okay. So all the Pokemon are now sent to the void, which is spectacular. Absolutely spectacular. And so... Eveltal and Nuzleaf's attack turning... Okay. Eveltal and Nuzleaf's attacks turning Pokemon to stone began. Many Pokemon in places all over the world were turned into stone. A few days later, here on the summit of Revelation Mountain, what happens? What magical thing happens? Oh! Okay, we're all still turned to stone. The water is all dried out. And we can see Jirachi and Ampharos. It really is all dried up. They sucked out all the luminous water. Well, well, well. To think that Alex was the key to it all. From the first mention of the human world, I should have pondered it more deeply. How foolish I was. There was nothing to be done about it. We had no information to go on. Maybe we were a little late. But we have to consider everything we learned about Alex to be progress. Since we lost contact with the team that went to the prehistoric ruins too, we have to assume they also returned to stone. What should we do, Ampharos? We may be the last members of the Expedition Society. Crunch. Huh? Oh, it's Esper. Welcome back, Esper. How are things in the village? Not good. Everyone was turned to stone. I'm the only one left. I don't get it. What do we do now? I'm certainly at a loss here. It's okay. We'll figure something out. Really? Uh, we learned a lot thanks to your... Okay, thanks to you contacting us with your telepathy, including the events that took place here. Of course, there's still much we don't understand, and so our expeditions must continue. Our confrontation with Ibeltal will have to wait until we have learned more. It's okay. We will save them. Everyone in Serene Village. And everyone in the world. Alex Kippers and the others, too. Esper, can I count on you to help us? I've got no place else to go. If you're going to save everybody, Mr. Ampharos, I believe in you. Please let me help you. Thanks, Esper. Okay. So, what exactly is going to happen now? Because th that's like a problem. Since none of our friends, like, our, our team basically is here to help us out in like a fight or something. So, this may not be the best situation right now, but we'll make a comeback somehow. Uh, we just have to wait for our chance. Let's not let it slip away when it comes. Sure. 
sure, whatever. That's totally gonna work out. Totally. <laughs> this is a terrible idea. Like, it's, it's a pretty bad idea. The Void Lands. So, the Void Lands. What happens now? Dot, dot, dot. Wait, what? How is, how is Charmander still good? Like, didn't Charmander just get turned to stone? Uh, oh, it's, what's going on? Where, where am I? Kippers. Kippers, are you okay? Oh, Alex. Huh? Why? Whoa, 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 look at that, Alex. What is this place? This is crazy scary. Uh, uh, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. This place is it's so frightening. How in the world did we, did we end up in a place like this? Uh, I don't know what to do. It's so scary, you know? No, it's, it's not really scary. I'm just like, I'm trying to show what Kippers are probably feeling like right now. It's probably like, oh gosh. Uh, this is too scary to do stuff in because it, it got like okay. Let's be kind of honest here. It's sort of scary, but not really. But at the same time, in their situation, it's probably very frightening. Now's leave turned us to stone, right? But if that's the case, what is this place? Could it be that this is the world you live in after being turned to stone? I don't know. But if it is, what are Archon and the others, Raikou, Suicune, and even Crocodile? I was shocked to find out Mr. Nuzleaf was behind these turning to stone incidents. It turns out he was a bad guy. I can never forgive him for tricking us like that, Alex. But why would Mr. Nuzleaf... I mean, why would Nuzleaf want to turn Pokemon to stone? Ah, it's just too much to take in. Uh, okay, I feel totally helpless. Seriously, what are we going to do? Uh, <laughs> this sucks. It, like, this does suck. Like, we were turning to stone. We're in this dimension. There's, there's, there's way too many things we don't understand going on right now. I don't think we're going to learn anything standing around here, though. Right now, we just need to focus oh, on finding a way out of here, of course. Skippers, we, we got to talk. Yeah, I know. We can't just give up right now, right? If we don't have hope, we don't have anything. Can't lose hope. You're right there. You're very correct. So let's see here. Can I actually withdraw anything that I might need? Uh, I'll take these. Anything else? Okay, I'll take. Uh, I'll take. I'll take this, the warp ones. So withdraw all of them, and then slumber ones. Let's actually withdraw both of them there. Okay, I'm like, I'm very confused right now because I don't have a strategy, and that is a problem. That is a problem. So we've got a progress device. We have everything we need. Let me actually deposit some items. So what do we not need? We don't need this. We don't need this. Actually, it might be useful to have that, but I'm not going to like keep it. Uh, what do we also not need? I don't need cherry. I don't need that. Okay, let me get these as well. Deposit those. I'll keep the escape orbs and I'll keep all the wands. But other than that, let me actually really quickly deposit all my money as well. <laughs> probably, probably not a great idea to keep any of it on us. So let me save my game really quickly just in case. So here we go. Uh, would you like to save your adventure? Yup. Yup. And now we're going to go and check out this, this place. Yeah. <laughs> totally a great idea to... To go into the void place. Uh, it seems like I can't go any further this way. Huh. That's weird. Would you like to go on? Yeah. I don't know how I feel about this. Abyssal Badlands. W what exactly is this place? So, let, let me see here. Um, Abyssal Badlands. Okay. So, there's eight floors. Not bad, not bad. We can deal with that. I mean, situation isn't exactly perfect, but we can deal with it. Kippers should be able to take that uh, Pokemon down. Come on, you can do it, Kippers. There we go. Uh, level 21. Nice, nice. Okay. So, oh man, really? Why do there have to be Pokemon here? Like, why can't we all be friends, you know? We could all be nice to each other. We wouldn't have to worry about fighting. 
Especially since we're in a world where there's literally like a giant evil doll trying to destroy everything. You know, it'd be it'd be nice if everybody could be friends. But no. Okay, let's see here. So yeah, there are eight floors in this structure or dungeon here. So that's gonna be fun to deal with. And now what I have to do is actually use my alliance move here. Just because this is a very powerful Pokemon and normally we can't take it down. But with the alliance moves we're able to. Okay. Ouch. No. This isn't good. This isn't good at all. I wasn't expecting this place to be difficult. I was expecting it to be okay. <laughs> Just not difficult. Um... What to do, what to do? Oh gosh, I don't know what to do. Okay. I, I don't I don't have a strategy. Like I actually don't have a strategy here. And that that's that's gonna be such a problem. Oh no. This is a problem. Like there's 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 no easy way to get through here. I don't know what to do. Like, I actually don't know what to do. Because we're surrounded from both sides by Pokemon. And Alex just got defeated. Well, let's try this. Let's try this from the save data. Try it from the save data. And we'll see what happens. We have an idea of what we have to do now. Like, where we have to go specifically to find the uh, proper destination, I guess. Which is the stairs. So do we have any items on us? No, we don't. Oh, man. Oh, this isn't good. Oh, this isn't good. I, I, I'm, I'm sorry that I'm quiet, but I, I had no idea it reset the areas. And now this is this is gonna oh gosh this is gonna be bad. This is gonna be very very bad because we don't have an ability to get through here. Okay, you went up a level. That's that's not what I care about right now. What I care about is figuring this stuff out. No. There there's actually no easy way to get through here. Wow. Like, I was expecting it to be bad. Just just not this bad. Oh, man. This is gonna suck. Like, trying to get through this dungeon? It's gonna suck. It's gonna be terrible. Oh, boy. This is, this is gonna be... This is gonna be great. Because it, it's so bad that it's gonna be spectacularly fun. To try and get through here. Gosh darn it, Kippers. You shouldn't have done that. Now we've got to take this thing down. Okay, Dragon Rage. Come on. You can do it. Okay, here we go. Use the Alliance. And there we go. We took it down. The Burn Guard. I'll set that to your looplet. Okay, I'm so sorry, Kippers. Oh, man. I can't. I can't leave Kippers behind. I can leave Kippers behind. If I have to, I will leave Kippers behind. Oh, this isn't good. This isn't good at all. Cuz we're just we're just getting ourselves in the situations where we're losing Kippers and it, it's not making it easy in the slightest to actually get through here. Okay. Let's try and figure this out. Okay, we have no hope. 
There's actually no hope to doing this. Wow. I, I don't know what to do. Like, I have no idea what to do. I mean, y y you'll probably have to try over and over again until you actually get through here, but that's a problem because that's going to take forever. I don't have forever. Oh, man. I don't want to be stuck in this dungeon for, like, a lot of time. And especially, like, since these Pokemon are very powerful. And I, I didn't have the ability to bring a friend or anything. It's all just bad. Okay, we're gonna try one more time. And if I can't figure it out, if I can't get through here, I'll end off the episode. And in between the episode, I will actually, like, in between this episode and the next, I will look into stuff and figure stuff out. By that, I mean, like, figure your way through here. Figure out a way through here. So, let's actually go down here. No, don't attack me. Don't be mean. Why do you have to be rude? How are you going to go and do that? How are you going to go and do that? Ever so simply. And this is great. Spectacular. Oh, man. <laughs> this battle. <laughs> it's great. It's really not. Oh, this is bad. These Pokemon are too strong. They're way too strong. I don't know what to do. I don't know. Here's what I'll do. Here's what I'll do. I know I went like, I know like halfway through the episode I went quiet and stuff, but that's like because of the fact that this is, this is, this is difficult. This is very difficult. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to end off the episode here. In between this episode and the next episode, I will probably spend like a few hours trying to get through this like whole dungeon thing and then I'll get to the end I'll start the episode up from there and then we'll be good just because I don't want to spend like three episodes going through a dungeon which is never fun anyways thanks for watching everybody hope you enjoyed if you did don't forget to leave a like on the video and subscribe if you aren't already and as always I'll see you all next time bye everybody